hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to use the mapped function and in case you missed previous discussion about what is filtered method please check link is given in the description if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the weblands channel under this home screen you can see odoo 17 and 18 development tutorial and right now we are working on this playlist if you are a beginner and want to learn from the beginning you can visit this main playlist so this is the main playlist and those three are the sub playlist of this playlist okay so the topic wise playlist also available in case you want to learn and guys if you didn't subscribe this channel please subscribe it will give you a latest sessions notification all right so let's back to our main topic like how to use mapped function and guys before that let me give you some information so here this is the student fees field right or discount or the final fees here you can see if you want to sum of all the student profiles student fees right or let's say you want to get the student fees so how you will do i will provide you two different ways so let's go to here in our custom add-ons not here the student profile models models.py file and by the way uh, this is the custom method once i click to this method uh, sorry this button it will automatically call this method okay so for that let me uh, let me comment it out this code because we don't want to use all right and here the first way is let's say this is our school model right and here i'm going to use for the student field uh, model student ids student object dot search right and i'm getting here the record set so let me print also that record set here what i will do is like student in student underscore ids right and before that i'm trying to here i'm adding one more variable which is student fees okay you can do like this student underscore fees dot append student underscore dot and here we have to check what is that specific field name right so here final fees or let's say from here let me active the developer mode student underscore fees okay so let's say if i'm going to here and i'm trying to use here like this way and this iterator is finished let me also add here this total fees list and here i will try to use like some student underscore fees okay so this is the first way and this is normal right like this here you can see let me remove all the logs let me go to here in the school profile and once i click you can see here so basically this two lines this one okay so this is the static message and the self is the itself record set of the current model so in this case this is the first record now you can see here i'm trying to get all the 17 student profiles as a record set using the search method right you can see here the line number one one two now here we have also used the iterator operation we done here i'm just trying to get the student fees detail and now you can see here this is the student fees i'm getting here and you can see here this is our final sum of this fees right so to perform that operation 
what I have to do is like I have to write down these lines of code right now in case you want to optimize this code in a single line of piece right you don't want to use this three lines of code uh, yeah forgot about these two lines okay you can also use in a single line but right now let's focus here about these three lines if you don't want to use like this you can do one thing you can comment it out like this way student underscore fees equal to and here you can directly use this record set Odoo already provide one more method which is mapped and today we will discuss about this method and the benefit you can directly use here mapped okay and here in a double quote you have to mention here that specific field which specific field you want to get so here in this case i want to get only student underscore fees okay and that's it you don't want to use this iterate drop lesson anymore so now you can see here once i click to this button you will get the same result you will also get the same list of that specific field okay here i'm giving you the simple field you can also add here the date boolean write the many to one one to many many to many all the operations you can use here we're using the map method so what it does is it's it read all the record set and it will get that specific field data here okay so here let's say if i will try to use student or uh, not the student but school underscore id let me comment it out otherwise it will give us our uh, error message the thing is school underscore id it's a record set and now you can see those are the record set from this student record set right the school and yes one more thing is you can also use one more mapped function from from this record set okay so here let's say you can also use mapped and if you want to print out that specific school name you can just use mapped and the name field make sure this name field also available in that model otherwise it will not give you the specific output once i am trying to print and now you can see here so what it does is so it will store into the list that specific field data and it's written as a list of data okay that is the main purpose of the mapped function i hope you understood might be you will confuse uh, let's say if you want to also optimize this part if you are using like this right you can also directly use something like this way dot search right in a one single line you will get the school name from the student profile you can see right so this is the simplest way you can also optimize your code plus you don't need to write down a multiple lines of code okay so this is the very simplest way you will get the specific fields data into a list format like this way i hope you understood about this mapped function in case still you have any doubt please comment below and see you in our next session